Previously on the clinic. There is no creature loose in the Greenwater Clinic, period. Excuse us, Gamine, but we don't appreciate you using our livelihood as a publicity stunt. This is no stunt. This is my life. What's going to happen when you come up against a really tough case? Get out while you still can. You'd hold the lives of a hundred clinic employees in the balance over dinner and a little nookie? Yep. And it better be good nookie, Horton. I call this trick the sands of Egypt. I'm sure you'll find my next illusion amazing. It's a little trick I did three years ago at the Super Bowl halftime show in front of over a billion people. I call it the flame of Toot Uncommon. For this trick, I will ask my beautiful wife, the nurse Gamine, to act as my assistant. Gavin, have you mixed the explosives according to my secret recipe? Oh, yes, oh, great one. You may begin the incantation. Isis, Osiris, River Asp, Pharaoh's secrets in my grasp. Take this beast to your holy room by the magic of Toot Uncommon's tomb! Mickey! By the pharaoh's beard! Now that's a good trick! I'm blind! I can't see! I'm blind! I'm blind! Somebody call the ambulance! Oh, me! I can't see! I'm blind! The clinic's a place where clinics a word spelled Helen Delmore, and you've been a nurse for 37 years, is that right? Yes, it is. Oh, you have a nice smile. You remind me of my grandmother. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm just going to attach these electrodes. Bloop, 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 bloop. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Now I'm just gonna take this blue, wire. Blue, 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 blah, blue, 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 blue. What about the tough case, Betty? The tough case, Betty. The tough case. The tough case. The tough case. Julie. What are you doing? Uh, tidying up and laying out your files. Gosh, this place is a mess. You know, I can't find your telephone anywhere. Hey, maybe it's in that trunk. No, get away! I mean, that trunk is old and rusty. I wouldn't want you to lacerate those beautiful young hands on a jagged hasp, now would I? No, I, I guess not. Of course not. Now let's go, I have to make my rounds. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, but you can't smoke in here. <laughs> to whom it may concern, please excuse my patient's nicotine deficiency? You have to smoke? I smoke or I die. But if you want me no, to put it out. No, no. Oh. oh, that was 
very insensitive of me. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be. Name's Charlie. What's yours? Um, Betty, Betty, Betty Rose. Uh, doc, Dr. Betty Rose. Get out. Dr. Betty? From the radio show in Seattle? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Hey, I'm from Seattle, too. Now I recognize you. Your face was on the side of every bus in town. Yeah. Till one of my listeners committed suicide. Ah, uh, who cares? I say suicide is for losers who got nothing to live for. I dug your show. Yeah? You're very sweet. Well, I, ha I have to get going. Uh, may maybe I'll, I'll see you around. Hey, Dr. Betty. You're a lot cuter than your bus poster. Let's see. My head is pounding, my eyes are burning, and I'm blind! But apart from that, I feel wonderful. How the hell do you think I'm feeling, Gamine? Nikki, you've never raised your voice to me like that before. Well, excuse me, but I'm just a little upset right now. I mean, I've done that trick a thousand times. Are you sure you read my instructions for the explosive mixture carefully? Nikki, you think it's my fault? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Please, don't cry, Gamine. I guess this blindness thing has hit me pretty hard. Oh, Nikki, I love you so much. I know, my darling. Look, since you're here, why don't you read to me? The night nurse left a paperback on the cabinet. Me? Read to you? Uh, I mean... It was the boast of teams. It was the boast of teams. Oh God, he's going to find out I can't read. Come in. what are you doing here? Mr. Nickleby is my patient, you silly goose. You must have misread the duty roster. Wait, nurse, uh, I know it's not proper protocol, but my wife was about to read to me. That would be okay, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's all right, Nikki. As much as I was looking forward to reading to you, with no problems. Sylvia is the nurse on duty. So I will just be going. I will stop back as soon as my shift is over. Well, too bad she had to leave. Here, let me just fluff this pillow for you. Thank you. Oh, you poor dear. So it's true what they say? You really can't see a thing? No, my world is blacker than a raven's beak. Well, you just let me know if that changes. I will. Say, nurse, would you mind turning on the radio for me? I'd like to listen to a little mu- Oh, that won't be necessary, Mr. Nickleby. When you wake up, I'll be providing all the entertainment you need. See what you've got in here. question. Uh-huh. Um, suppose a, um, a psychologist friend of mine had a, uh, a 
a patient with a, uh, let's say, a rare and unusual dementia that only she had witnessed. And say this, um, this demented person was uh, killing people at a hospital or a clinic. Um, what should my psychologist friend do? No, I see what you're saying. I think that he or she should get his or her butt into gear, cure that patient, and stop those killings. But I can't. I, I can't. I can't. I can't do this. This, this. this is way over my head. Somebody oh, else has got to do this. Oh, listen to me, Betty. Listen to me. You can do it. Only you. You think I can? Of course. You have got to tell that friend to cure that patient. Um, perhaps I was a little unclear. There is no friend. Baloney, don't you check it out, Betty. I know you can face this friend. Oh, no, no, this, this isn't working. Look at me, Betty. I have the utmost confidence in you. Can I go now? Of course. And good luck. I hate to say it, but I think I'll have to sacrifice this bun. Well, hello, Dr. Rand. Hello, Charlie. You can imagine how surprised I was to find that my own son had checked in for surgery. Don't take this the wrong way, Pop, but bite me. You watch your mouth. How dare you check into this hospital under the name of Rand, you filthy hippie! I'm no hippie, Pop. As pathetic as hippies are, they still care about something. Whatever. You're a worthless piece of human garbage. Do you know what it cost me to buy your way into that medical school? You could have made something of yourself. Yeah, I guess I could have. I could have been another great Dr. Rand. You know, just before I dropped out of school, I dropped in on Mom. I see. So you've been to the booby hatch then? It's called the State Sanitarium, but yes, I have. She said something very interesting. She spoke? Just two words. Father, bad. 